What's up guys? I'm at SHOT Show. I had to stop by the Ruger booth because they have a rifle I think you're going to be very interested in. Yeah. I got Mark here. Go ahead and tell me what you got, man. What's hey, going man, on? We got the PC carbine, pistol caliber carbine. So we said, you know, we really like the 1022, but we wish it shot 9mm. <laughs> and while we're at it, we wish that it ran 9mm through a Glock mag. That's huge, by the way. That's what made me yeah. like the happiest when right. I saw that. So that's what we got. So the gun comes out of the box. It's set up for an SR9 mag. And uh, But we have this little module in here. You can see it come in close. You see the little picture frame here. Now, we how easy is that to install? It is a piece of cake to install. Even I can do it. You pop out the action screws. Actually, just loosen them. Mm -hmm. Lift the action out of the stock. Mm -hmm. You press the mag release here and just lift the module off. Oh, okay, easy you peasy. Keep the, yeah. keep the uh, mag release in. You drop the new module in, snap up, and you're ready to go. It's Like I said, even I can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it, all right? <laughs> nice, so then you nice. get this set up for a Glock mag if you wish. Uh, it's a really cool action. It's a, um, by the way, I want to show you this. Magazine in. Last round hold over. Another huge selling point. If you shot 9mm pistol caliber carbines, you know they, they kind of thump you a little bit. Mm. And it's not, 9mm doesn't have a lot of recoil, but the big heavy bolt that goes the back and forth does awesome. when the bolt smacks into the back of the receiver. So we actually have a two piece bolt. So there's two weights and they're disconnected. So when the mm. bolt comes back, there's an inside weight that hasn't quite caught up with it yet. Mm -hmm. Then the bolt rebounds and then the weight catches up with it and they cancel each other out. Nice. So it only hits your shoulder with about half the recoil force. Nice. So if you look at any other videos you see it shooting, you notice people's muzzle rise just don't. Very minimal. Uh, very minimal. Nice. And it also limits the amount of energy with the bolt smacking back into the, the chamber. Okay. Some of the other features, we got uh, adjustable length of pull. Comes with one half inch spacer but two more spacers in the gun. Okay. You come up, you got really nice texturing here. The trigger is mostly 1022 components, so you can't just drop in a 1022 module. But people are pretty tricky with those. You can you can figure out a way to go. We're very but, close. But you, if you try this trigger, it is an outstanding trigger, and you probably don't want it any lighter on what could be a recreational or a fighting carbine. Okay? Exactly. All right. The bolt, the charging handle is reversible. You can just thread it out of this side. Put it in on that side. Another cool yes. selling point. Very so cool. for those like of you uh, who want, yeah. you know, you can run your manipulations on the left side while you keep yeah. your firing hand in one, in That's one hand. That's what I like to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, magazine release is on the left, and you'll find it's very intuitive. Just take it in and out. Mm -hmm. It is a takedown gun. You lock the bolt back, take it apart, and it packs away pretty small. That's okay. really easy. It returns to zero really well. If you put it together so it's snug, and you cycle the bolt a couple times and you put it together, you'll find it returns to zero, even with a receiver-mounted optic. Well, I'm looking at this part right here. Yep. Why is that knurled? We're going to lock the bolt back, take it off, and this is an adjusting ring for adjusting the fit of the bolt of the uh, barrel into the receiver. Oh, okay. So there's instructions in it how to get it in so it's nice and snug. It'll come snug, but what you want to do is make sure that it feels tight on the way in. And when it's nice and snug, that means it's not going to be moving around and the gun stays very accurate. Gotcha. Threaded half 28 for use suppressor fans. Nice. We saw we found 147 subs stay subsonic in the barrel. It's a very cool gun. And it's in production now. You can buy it. We're making I, them every day. I like day. the fact that you guys even went as far as fluting the barrel, too. Well, it, it, so if you look at it, it's a 356 diameter barrel. I mean, it's uh -huh. a big barrel. So you put yeah. a big, it's heavy. Yeah. Uh, but we found if you have, you have a thin wall barrel, it, uh, it strings. Mm -hmm. So we had to put a heavy barrel, fluted it to lighten, get the weight out of it. Stiff enough and as well. it just, even when it gets hot, it just drops bullets in right where it's supposed to go. And then a uh, closer look at the sights, it looks like, uh, I guess that's considered ghost ring, right? Yeah, so you get ghost an aperture sight. sight. It's a Williams sight. Oh, okay. So if you want to swap it out, you can. Nice. Uh, but it is really, it's a nice fat, because that's that far away. You just put it up, you just see right through it. Yeah. And the one that I shot at uh, Media Day, you had a suppressor on it. I believe it had a red dot too. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. We got a pick rail on the top. Yeah. There's a pick rail on the bottom for a flashlight or a laser. Mm -hmm. Can't beat this. Nice little uh, home defense gun, yeah. little camp gun. Awesome, man. Oh, let's talk about the different mags, by the way. Okay. A little bit more in detail. So sure. What does it ship with? It exactly? ships with an SR9 magazine. Okay. And will come with, I'm sorry, it comes with an SR9 magazine, mm -hmm. but it will also take this new Security 9 magazine. Nice. Without any, oh. they'll just pop right in. Okay. Then if you change over the mag well, you can do a Glock. And all the mag modifications, that all comes in the box as well? Correct. You don't have to buy anything else. Nope. Huh? It's very cool. Yeah. Oh, the, only, the only exception is if you have an, a Ruger American pistol, which is a very nice pistol, by the way. Mm -hmm. We do 
have a magwell for that as well. It's on shop roof. Oh, nice. Okay, so you got it all covered for the most we part. We try it. We try it. Very cool. So uh, let's let's uh, end this with um, availability, price, and website. Okay, so this should go across the counter for about 500 bucks, maybe a little bit more. We don't set the end price, but mm -hmm. about 500 bucks is where we target it. Mm -hmm. uh, we are making them every day in the factory in New Hampshire. <laughs> they get over near the shipping door and they just yeah. get sucked out by a vacuum and get delivered. So they're very yeah. high demand. You're going to sell a lot of these, I yeah. guarantee you. Okay, That's an awesome you. gun. I can't wait to get my hands on one yeah. of these because uh, I love the concept. That's great. We appreciate your interest. Thank you.